Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do we get a Mermaid Junkies into all the apps that people like to listen to? And most importantly, how do we make money from our podcast? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. (laughs) Cha-ching! While the rest of the junkies and myself love Anchor, the best two reasons we use it over the others are, one, they do all the heavy lifting with distributing to sites like iTunes and Spotify, so we don't have to worry about the technical stuff. And two, we get paid to create while growing our tribe. We don't need a large following, just two loyal ones, really. So if you've always wanted to start your own podcast and make money doing it, go to anchor.fm slash start. That's anchor.fm slash start to join us and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. Can't wait to hear your podcast. <laughs> I love that. Gotta love it. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> hey, been, we're back. We're back. We are the Amerimi Junkies. I'm gonna start off with the let's start off with the voice with the voice of God over there, or Hades, as some call him. Yes, yes. Hi, everybody. Demon Engine here. It's your boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't got much to say. Of the day. Oh yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And of course, always the always elegant, always lovely Queen Nick. What's going on, lovely? You already know it's your girl Queen Nick. Hashtag Queen Nick. Shop Serpentine Fires at serpentinefire.co. Shop online or download our app today. www.serpentinefire.co. And I am Salty Live Two One Five. We are Mary Media, and this is the Mary. <laughs> Junkies podcast. Indeed. Today, got my drinks ready. Got that drink what we, ready. What we got for the geek report? Uh, today we're going to be talking about. Uh, we're going to be talking about where Marvel is and where DC is on the entertainment spectrum today. But first, we want to dive into the geek report. Pop yeah. up those. Uh, let's pop those things up, uh, engine, so we can start start the chatters. Got my drinks ready. You see. <laughs> I'm wafting as we speak. <laughs> All right. Uh, wh- while we're waiting for that, uh, folks, thank you for listening in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook under Mary Media. And subscribe and a- to our YouTube channel. Under the very same name. And of course, don't be afraid to check out Amerimi Wire, the website. We've <laughs> always got plenty of plenty of blogs, reviews, things we, things we definitely want to talk about. Subscribe to our magazine, Amerimi Wire, so which is available on Amazon. You can catch that. Next uh, issue is coming in a few weeks. Yep. So definitely check it out. Definitely get you. You know, mm. definitely download that, John, because. It is, is bomb, you know. Mm-hmm. And y'all already mm-hmm. know we only go for what's bomb. Mm-hmm. You already know the queen. The queen does nothing less than royalty. <laughs> All right, first, uh, first one up. We got. Just go in the order that you sent them to me. Yeah. You drop something. I'm... Fucking I up. Just... I just dropped my phone. That's okay. Fucking this car can talk good. It's all good. Just go in the order that you sent them to me. I will yeah. go put this in post. Because it's yeah, trying to make just, me a uh, video right now. Oh, so you just want right. me to go in the order I sent them? 
Yeah, I'll put them in post. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it's not letting me put up a picture right now. All right, oh, well, go. right now, uh, Young Justice, Young Justice Season 4 is going to be coming out with HBO Max. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, uh, Young Justice was a hit TV show on the Cartoon Network that had a great first two seasons, and it was horribly canceled early because the toy company that was helping fund the project didn't want to make girl female action figures. But luckily, thanks to the it, the fans and the internet, yeah, some bullshit. Yeah, yes, that is yeah, yes, Queen. It sounds but, very sexist. Indeed, no. it, it indeed they uh, they like they wanted to make boys action figures, but refused to make any of the uh, female because, heroines because in of the boobs. action figures. Is it because of boobs? I don't know. There, there really wasn't. None of the characters were sexualized, so. I'm just saying though, like boobs period is like an extra lump or something, right? Like an extra little lump of clay and or plastic that you gotta add on. It is not cost wise thematics. It doesn't matter. Like it's very little. Hella sexist. It's very, very sexist. Especially when you put in perspective of like how much they would actually make off of the Mm. female action figures. And imagine if they actually did sexualize them though. Just a bit. Just 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 for the action figure sake. That would I that guarantee been, you, sales that would have been skyrocketed weird. at least five hundred. You didn't need to sexualize anything. That would Wonder been Woman's thighs from Justice okay. League okay. War. Okay. God okay. damn! <laughs> she needs but, to be uh, the new Lady Legacies. I'm just but, saying. Uh, back to what I was saying. Um, <laughs> season three. Season three premiered on the already dead DC Universe app, and since it's all still owned by Warner Brothers. Season four is going to be premiering on H on um, HBO Max in. October. So why you call it the already dead DC app? Well, the DC oh. Universe, the DC Universe app was supposed to be an exclusive streaming app for all DC products, which even I said in the very beginning, it sounds good, but it sounds like it's going to be shooting itself in the foot, and that's exactly what happened. What yep. you mean? Well. It's cool to have a streaming service, but if you're owned by Warner Brothers, but you're making all of your streaming content only one particular corner of the things that you own, it's not gonna it's not gonna last long. So because it was too niche. Yeah, it was it was way it was way too niche. Gotcha. Yeah, but uh, but season four is gonna be coming out on HBO Max uh, the week of October twenty first, uh, and I look forward to that. Uh, I was a big big fan of the series. It took uh, it took the material that uh, it took the material and handled it with adult gloves, uh, and like <laughs> I, I thought they handled it really well. Here for it. it, yes, definitely here for it. Um, next, the next piece we're next piece we're gonna roll into is something I just recently did a video on TikTok about. Um, Fortnite has this feature, which is sponsored by Time Magazine, where mm-hmm. they you're taken to the March on Washington virtually, and they're playing a video of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Mm-hmm. And it is the most awkward, pandering thing I've ever saw. Yeah, I bet, huh? It's first of first of all, it's Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite again. Uh, Fortnite, which is a children's pop playground culture. of animated video violence game. and pop culture, is literally trying to take a moment to try and educate people, which is just really, really weird. And it's done in such a ham-fisted way, mind you. Uh, none of this was done with even any consent to Martin Luther King Jr.'s living relatives because apparently they, they don't probably have... more than likely ask for a check to use his likeness and um image it all it, I, I don't I don't know the gist of it but the, like that would have been the smartest deal because you're making money off of this game are you not Oh yeah, Epic Games is definitely making exactly, money off of Fortnite. Exactly. Like, so their whole thing is like, well, if you want to use his likeness and image for profit to which your product does profit 
you would not pay a fee, which is fair. I find it so strange because it's a game where the top 20 players in the world aren't even black. Yeah, I don't know. It's it, it's very weird, yeah. and it it feels wrong. It it, it feels wrong. It's it feels it, wrong. It, it probably is wrong. It just seems like pandering to the fifth power, and I uh, it, it it sickens me. I I I I, I mean I can't be with it. Still, I will say though, still at the number one at the top, like at the top tier of black pandering, juvenile still takes the cake. I haven't seen anything top that. Oh yet. yeah, uh, back, uh, during yeah. 2021, I haven't back, seen nothing else top that yet. Backs that ass up. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, mm, mm, know what? Moving ahead, uh, I'm sending, I'm sending, I'm sending a photo to to Queenie, and I know Engine's already seen it. Uh, this guy, there's a guy out in the world in Alabama who looks exactly like The Rock. Wait. Is that him? Yes. The gentleman on the left, he's a cop in Alabama. He looks exactly of course he's like a fucking the- cop. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that was said with a whole lot of aggression that was not necessarily intended. Yeah, just it was a just bit. like <laughs> it was just like, of course he's a fucking cop. But the look was- the, the look is so uncanny. It is a little scary, although he could have been like a test tube experiment going wrong. Meanwhile, no. the hood was thinking that Gucci Man was a clone. I mean, he definitely don't look like he did before he went to jail. But I mean, jail tends to change a man physically and mentally. Yeah, yep. but he went to jail many, many times before that. And he was fine. It's just until he can't have a woman waiting for him. I mean, allegedly, they say he died in prison. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gucci, Gucci man. Uh, look, I mean, they said this that gonna sound Britney messed Spears up. Gucci and, man and is not worth the money or energy to be cloning. Now, The Rock, yeah, I can see, <laughs> I, the Rock, the Rock. I can they see said them. Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were cloned because they apparently Britney died Spears back and Justin in the early two thousands. Are a product remember, of the like, Disney Corporation. No, but like, do you remember that report that went out over the radio about them two dying though? I don't keep track of their news. I like yo, I will never forget it because I remember I was listening to the radio. We was in the car going somewhere. I don't remember where we were going, but I do remember that news report because oh my god, I was like, Oh no. And they like saying that they were decapitated and all kinds of craziness or whatever. And then like, you know, all of a sudden like certain amount of time went by and they were like oh no it's a false rumor it's a hoax blah 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 blah. they're fine but you didn't see them for like a while after that maybe the island is real it's an old michael bay movie Ewan McGregor, Scarlett. Wait, Bain, is it when they it when when they all like when a bunch of people are like put on this island or whatever but they can't remember who they are or why they're there no it, it's a movie where they're actual clones of celebrities Oh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm sure, there are lots of explosions since you said Michael Bay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, in other news, uh, martial arts film superstar Donnie Yen, he's uh, he's gonna be part of a live action adaptation of the Sleeping Dogs video game franchise. Oh, my husband. <laughs> uh, nice Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen is also currently working on John Wick Four. Yes! So, oh my god! Yes! I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. No, I'm, no, no! It's all good. It's all good. I'm here for it. Cause yes, like, can you? Im- Yo, what if he's the the villain though? Cause like, you don't see him in any, in, a, in too many movies where he plays the villain. So this is true. If he's working on it and he's the villain in this story. Well, the Keanu last, Reeves got got a got a hell of a fight on his hands. Well, the last the last villain in John Wick three, um, I forget his name right now, but he's a mar- he's he really is a martial arts master, and he was also uh, a judge on Iron Chef. So, when, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I'm I'm here for the like evil Donnie Yen 
character. Hey, it, like, I'm so here for Because, like, I want to see it. Like, yo, he always plays the protagonist. He always plays the nice guy. He always plays the hero. So, I think the last time I seen him as a bad guy, it was Shanghai Knights. Uh, Jackie Chan and um, Owen Wilson sequel to Shanghai yeah, Noon. Never. That's okay. A lot of people Wilson. didn't see it. Yo, do you know? Did you know if either Owen Wilson or what's the other guy that kind of looks like Wilson? him? No, it's another guy that kind of looks like him. His or is Owen Wilson, Wilson the one with the jacked up nose? That would be Owen Wilson. Yeah, yo, I heard he's a like he not a deadbeat, but like he don't raise his his babies at all. He ain't met his child, his daughter at all, and he barely spends time with his sons. For that matter, he'll talk about him in interviews or whatever. But I don't know. I don't he know. He got about a daughter that. that he hasn't met, and apparently the daughter's like four or five years old. I don't know about all that. Uh, I'll, I'll look into I've, it. I've been reading on the interwebs through bloggers and things of that nature, and they said that he has not seen his child. Mm. That that that's said by the baby mom. So I'll talk. I'll, I'll check TMZ. I'll check Ooh. TMZ. Uh, and, and, and other I mean, they are known for just no and bugging people. Like they, he provides financially. Let me be clear, he's not a deadbeat per se because he does pro- provide financially for his daughter. The issue he, is he has he, never met her, not being and a she's father. like, right? She's she's like four or five years old at this point. So, and you've never met your child. Like, what are you doing? And he doesn't even spend really that much time with his other his his two boys. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't know, but uh wow. Uh yeah, I know it took a turn, did it? Yeah. It took a turn, did it? <laughs> or no, it, be, or uh, is it Matthew McConaughey? He might be a daddy. No, Matthew McConaughey is is such an ap- active dad. Okay, so we're not probably mm, is old. We're not we're not doing okay, that I'm, Matt. So, I'm mm. so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I listen, I can't tell like I'm not gonna say that they all look alike, but in that case, no, they do not look alike. They look very similar to one but another. They share a, distance, a lot of genetic you code. Too much there. sun in your eyes. Sure. I'm just gonna say that they all share a lot of genetic code for similarities. Okay, a lot of um, genetic material there that looks a little, you know, familial. If you well, in the land of reboots. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a reboot to Interview with the Vampire. <gasps> what? And they have announced who is going to play the lead character, Louis. It is Game of Thrones star Grey Worm Jacob Anderson. <gasps> oh, my other husband. <laughs> I can't with you. Go Grey Worm. Go Grey Worm. At first, I wasn't, I wasn't really like jazzed about this, but you know what? To see him as the as as louis it i would i would be very interested to see but my question is who's gonna play kirsten dunce's character no i don't care about that who's playing lestat wait he plays louis louis is the louis would be brad pitt's character from the original okay and lestat was played by tom cruise I'm not talking about Queen of the Damned. I know. I'm trying to, like, my brain is trying to, like, it's doing that thing, you know, that Rolodex mm-hmm. in my mind. But no, I know I know you're talking about. Okay. So, so <laughs> then he's a supporting character. No, Louis was the main, no, Louis was the main character. Lest- like, Tom Cruise was supporting. Huh. So, yeah. Um, I look forward to it. I'm not gonna lie, that is that is gonna be a hard execution because Interview with the Vampire is a great fucking movie. All right, so here's the thing. Historically speaking, you really expect me to believe that a nigga is out here just, you know, well, sipping on niggas, sipping on motherfuckers, right? And like nobody well, recognize him. Well, historically speaking, uh, Louis Louis comes from New Orleans, uh, so he could be he could either be a plantation a uh, 
plantation slave or a plantation slave owner. Mm. So okay, all right, all right. Are they gonna are well, they gonna fully update is... it? Are they gonna play it play to the classic strengths of it? Mm, no. Who would you like to see be the um? Who would you like to see be the playlist that? Who would you say would actually feed off of Grey Worm's energy? Like, who would you? Who do you Ooh. think would have good on screen on screen chemistry with him? I don't know, because like Lestat had a certain menacing calm to him that could just go from zero to a hundred. Like Lestat. You think it's somebody older or younger? The more you can would, narrow it down, the more I can kind of like start to pick people out. He would have to be slightly, just slightly older than Grey Worm, um, than Jacob. Like Keith, like Keith David older or no? Not Keith David. No, Keith David. Although he would be a great voice. Keith David would be a. I could see Keith David playing Armand, if uh, uh, he if was anything. originally who was was originally played by Antonio Banderas. Okay. I can yeah, see, see that. Okay. I don't know who I don't I can't figure out who, who could play that right now, but I got it. Uh, good luck. I I really wish them the best of luck. Um uh, moving ahead, Outcast is celebrating 25 years of AT Aliens by making a video game inspired by the album. Hey. Listen, when hip hop and video games come together, it's, it's always, always a good time. A good look, time. At, look at Def Jam Vendetta. <laughs> like Def Jam, oh. the rap of the rapper. <laughs> like you really can't go wrong. Honestly, I feel like they should have more more people should like in hip hop should be involved in that. Like in a lot of that. I think one of the biggest problems a lot of people uh in hip hop when it comes to video games, they're afraid to invest that amount of money. Cause you got like, you got like developing a good video game takes a lot of bread and there's a lot of risk. My whole thing is if you're smart, this is how you do that shit. You go to those schools, those colleges where those, where you have, you know, a bunch of people that are studying, you know, game art, design, animation, all of that stuff. You go to the college students. You know why? Because first of all, their ideas are young and fresh. They're also learning how to create this stuff. And then on top of that, they haven't yet entered that workforce. Not to say to exploit them, but more than likely, they're not going to charge you what you probably would normally be charged by somebody who is a veteran in the industry. You get what I'm saying? And then you get to grow with them as they grow. So then you talking about, you get what I'm saying? And then they can set themselves up for an extra job outside of college once they're done mm. so you know what i mean there's a way to do it there's a way to go about it i just think a lot more people need to be cognizant of working with people and wanting to grow with people i think a lot of people just want a finished product and either don't want to put the time in for it or don't want to pay the people their worth so yeah. if, if you work with these college students who are entry level anyway at least then you have a better chance at getting unrestricted, un unjaded individuals to work with you and work together on a project. And they're proud of it. So they're going to be promoting it. You're proud of it. So you're going to be promoting it. And everybody wins. Okay. Uh, I'm, I dig it. I got, I got a few more things. Just a couple. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop 4 is definitely going to be moving forward. It's going to be on Netflix. Uh, Eddie Murphy will return as Axel Foley. Ironically, and this is a something a lot of people don't know, there was already a Beverly Hills Cop 4 movie made back in, I want to say, 2009 with Eddie Murphy and Brandon T. Jackson. You'll remember him from... Uh, Big House. Yeah, Big, Big Mama's Roll House, bounce. too. Roll Bounce. There, it was made... Uh, I think it's gotten thrown in a safe somewhere to never be shown. Uh, because, I, I mean, I, I definitely recall this. Uh, I was at, I think my mom might have the... Uh, it was never released. I was at several... Remember? It was never released. She I was might at, have a bootleg. I don't know. 
hey, listen, I'm not going to say I don't believe you because, you know, soul plane was a thing. <laughs> they might have a bootleg. I don't know. I may have to check her archives. Might have to check it out. Uh, but, I mean, I'm all for it, I guess. I'm just not too thrilled because coming to America was... Lackluster. Lack, thank you. Thank, thank you. Uh, I wasn't feeling it. I mean, it's a very forgettable movie. Literally, I forgot that it came out earlier this year. Yeah, I wasn't impressed yeah. at all. I was actually very disappointed. I hated the fact that they tried to follow along with the first movie, like kind of like following the same formula, because that was kind of dumb. It's like, no. It the, also made the, the character progression be. of Akeem regress. Yeah, because it's like he could have been stood up for his daughter and been like, nah, fuck out of here. My daughters are great. Plus, it did, like, King Jockey Joe first funeral rest- didn't have the dancing coffin dances, so. Fair. Yes. Yeah, I, look. Fair. <laughs> if, if my man was going to have a funeral right then and there, he, his coffin should have been danced out by the boys. Yeah, Facts. I I could feel you on that. Like, the best character in there to me was Wesley Snipes. Now, uh, two more pieces. OnlyFans early, earlier last week said no more porn. A couple days ago, they were like, you know what? Yeah, I got that email. I got an email <laughs> saying, like, you know what? On second thought, we we, we going to put that on pause. We're going to stick a pin in that. You know, everything is going to be fine. Um, don't worry about the changes. We're just going to keep everything the way it is for now. Uh. The, C, uh, the CEO finally actually spoke on it. He said it wasn't about uh, getting rid of the content for mainstream audiences. It was literally because several banks would have refused to process their money. He even dropped those banks' names in a statement. Yeah, because you so, should. Cause so that people can start yeah. banking with those people. Because if you don't support sex workers, you don't support the economy. Because at the end of the day, prostitution and other sex work is the oldest profession in the book sex work generally is the oldest profession in the Mm -hmm. book and at the end of the day not everybody's out here prostituting not everybody's out here producing pornography and at the end of the day if people got their kinks and people willing to pay for it and you're getting some money off of that you ain't really got to do shit but exist mind your business then on top of that you have elites who are like Oh no, y'all getting rid of it? Like, I'm pretty sure the elites, like those who are actually like paying top dollar for some of their top cre- uh, content creators and all that, who work at some of these banks and or own some of these banks, are like, uh-uh. They they, they tapped on one shoulder was like, uh-uh. This ain't it. This ain't it. You fucking a bar business now. Like, bro, I was just banging that shit. Chill. Right. Like, <laughs> you, you fucking a bar shit. You fucking up. You, you fucking a bar personal shit. I don't... We don't like that. Y'all gotta Thanks. fix that. I'm like after after surviving after 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 literally rocking my world from the 2007 2008 financial crisis, the absolute gall for these banks to try and have some sort of moral high ground is fucking hilarious. Last piece and last piece and of I'm news. like half y'all employees probably on OnlyFans as is because y'all don't pay them what you should. Mm-hmm. Last piece of but news. But ain't none of my business. Last piece of news. I gotta bring up this dickhead, oh Soldier boy. boy. Soldier Boy claims he owns Atari. Uh, Atari was trying to do a sponsorship deal with Soldier Boy. They offered him one million Atari tokens, which would pretty much was stock shares. He went on a tirade saying he owns the company, uh, Atari. Pretty much said on Twitter, uh, they were like, that's funny. Our owner is this guy. So now he's like, fuck y'all. I'm selling the company. Soldier Boy does not own Atari. Let's just make this very clear. Wait, do we know that for sure, though? Because what was the what was Soulja the documentation Boy, that he Soldier Boy showed the documentation. They literally paid him a, a million Atari Atari tokens, which were stock shares, to uh, to to do a sponsorship. They were paying him for a sponsorship. Soldier Boy does not own Atari. Okay. This just, is the you know. this is the second time Soldier Boy has opened his mouth about being in the gaming industry 
and made himself look foolish again. Let's I'm not forget that two years ago, Soldier Boy put out the Soldier System, which is literally a off-brand Chinese bought system with his brand on it. Hey, 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 hey. Let, let's be clear. Most of the people who put their names on shit, labels, and all kinds of stuff, a lot of that shit comes over from Asia anyway, and they this put is, their names on it. So let's not let, let, let's not make that seem like you know. But oh, no, it's a he's just oh he used this Chinese company because majority look look at Kylie, look at um a lot of these other you know quote unquote influencers and whatnot who put their names on these products and but they're he, not good products. Yeah, but here was the the biggest problem with Soldier Boy was he was opening his mouth, acting like it was a legit brand new system, which it wasn't, and then said he was making deals. It's with new the to system. you. Yeah, okay. It is not. It is it's not. New I, to you. I, 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 I could tell you countless. You ain't know shit about this system before. Generic this. fake PS twos and PS ones out here built with nothing but NFC, uh, uh original Nintendo games in them. Yo, Wish has been trying to sell that system to me for the last five years. So hey, facts. And what 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 made what made Soldier Boy have to cut all of that was after he said on the Breakfast Club that he was working on an exclusive deal with Sony and Nintendo. Nintendo found out they shut all that shit down. They was just like, oh, he's like, out here selling a system with our games on it. Mm -mm, next. I was like, Fuck Soldier Boy, you 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 were you were a great influencer on the Money Machine back in the day, but every time you try to step into the gaming uh, the gaming world, whoever his best friend I slash advisor he, is hates yeah, him. He, <laughs> his best friend is him. He needs, you know what he needs? He actually needs a real friend in the gaming industry. He needs a solid, respected connect. He I needs a real friend. That's the only way he's going to succeed I don't think in this sector of He business. needs a real friend, period. Because a yeah. real friend would talk to him out of doing this stupid shit. Or at least help him devise what a happened? better way. I got a question. What happened to Arab? Who? His best friend, Arab. It was like his best friend and his cousin. I don't know. Maybe he was telling him the stuff that he, he heard, needed to hear. I heard he got a, a like he's in prison prison allegedly I say allegedly, i'm gonna let you handle that i don't keep up with soldier boy listen I, I, I did a little digging for them okay because i was always curious i was like yo whatever happened to them after the whole you you know y'all bitch y'all you know because that was like who's one. going to prison oh, you. Bitch, <laughs> right. but you know uh, I, mean? I was here for the y'all bitch y'all <laughs> but uh that was the geek report of course you guys let us know what you think we're the Mary junkies we're coming right back. Look, and I'm we're right. back. I'm back. Look, I we flipped. Just, I'll sit there and smiling and whatnot. Something. Out here looking like a whole picture while my it background be is changing. Edited. They'd have it been will like, be edited hey. out in post. I slipped, sudden crack, and I was writhing silently in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that, your sciatica. Back to the topic at hand. Uh, Marvel and DC. Uh, Marvel and DC have, have came out swinging in the last few weeks. Now, I guess we need to hit the first thing, that Spider-Man trailer that came out a few days Oof. ago. Ooh. Mm. Juicy, spicy. Please. Oh, that was either that was either an uppercut or a stiff ass jab. <laughs> Cuz that shit was Spicy. Can y'all can y'all fill in our audience? Those who probably I mean, may not be watching us, but I mean, listening. I, the Spider Man No Way Home trailer came out uh, last last time we left. Uh, Mysterio in his dying in his last dying words outed Peter Parker as Spider Man, which is really fucked up. So petty, <laughs> petty as hell. Like Petty Labelle, he was like Petty Crocker. Just and it looks spit. like all eyes are on Peter, Mary Jane, and my boy Ned. And Ned, Ned, got sexy, y'all. <laughs> Ned out here, Ned out here, trying to be a whole snacky shit <laughs> with his Hawaiian looking ass. Mm -hmm. But things have gotten so bad that Peter is desperate for help, and who does he go to? Doctor Strange. 
Yeah. 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 Tony Stark is dead. That's why. That's the only reason why. You know why? I mean, the only person Tony Stark like stopped to even close to remotely listen to is Strange. Sure yeah. enough. And ironically, they're so similar. Oh. Yeah, he's just not as well. Strange was a narcissist. He is not still a narcissist. I'm upset. I did, he I'm has upset. narcissistic tendencies get... still. But he's not a complete narcissist as he was. I will say I'm that. upset we didn't get the beard bros scene. Ah, uh, I know. The beard bros? Beard like what? Bros. There's a, a scene, scene in the comic where they have literally the, their beards are stout the exact same. And they're just looking at each other. And fucking Tony puts his hands up and just like, beard bros. <laughs> and fucking uh, Dr. Strange begrudgingly just high fives him back. Like, I wanted uh-huh. that book. Uh, like it's, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. It just sounds like Doctor Strange's like reaction to it. Like I don't like this. So, but I'm um, gonna let you be great. So, Peter asks if he can cast a spell that makes everyone forget that he's Spider-Man. Wong, being the voice of reason, tells Doctor Strange not to do it. Don't do but that. Of course, shit. Doctor Strange went to go do it. Of course, because Doctor Strange don't want don't want to fucking listen to nobody, much like Tony Stark. And Pete, being Pete, what what what's like? Well, can you make sure MJ remembers and the, all these other people? And Doctor Strange kerfuffles it and opens up a multiverse break. Now, for people who have been watching the Marvel Plus series, especially Loki. Uh, it, they made it very clear that yes, there is a multiver- multiverse, and the TVA had, was working to keep it all sustained. But between this and the stuff that happened on Loki, all hell has broken loose. And that. with hell breaking loose in Spider Man's case, we have the return of Doc Ock, oh, uh, played by Spider Man 2's Alfred Medina. He was actually a good a good Doc Ock, so I can see why yeah. they brought him back. He's also an excellent actor. Uh, the Green Goblin. I it, it sound now it sounded like uh, it sounded like our guy, but I wasn't sure. But we already know they yeah, brought back his, Jamie Fox. Name? What's his fucking name? <laughs> no, the guy to play Green Goblin, fucking. I know his fucking name. That's what's bothering me right now. Hold on, y'all. Like, I might go. Like, does my does my thing hide? Can Defoe. y'all still see? There you go. It's William Defoe. Yeah. Yeah. Does my <laughs> does my screen just go blank and it just yes. has my icon photo when I go out of this? No, we see. It just. It just or can y'all black. still see me? We see you. I can see you but now. It just went black though. Jamie Fox is. Um, yeah, you're black out. Oh, okay. It just goes black. Okay. Jamie nah. Foxx is going to be playing Electro again. Electro? I thought it was... Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of DC. I'm sorry. I was mm-hmm. I was like, Manta Ray. I thought it was Manta Ray. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Wrong series. And wrong, wrong series. It also looks like there might be a Sandman as well. Oh, Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. He's throwing hands. He dreams. Is he throw is he throwing real hands though this time? Because I mean the other guy who played Sandman, he was okay to me. I'm not, like, sh- I'm not sure if Thomas Hayden Church, I don't know why I have his name memorized. Uh, but I don't know if Thomas Hayden three. Church is coming back. Three left three first names. Yes. Okay. I I don't Thomas Hayden Church, I'm not sure if he's returning as Sandman. I would like him to be replaced with somebody else. But who would you like to see? I don't know. Either way, you've got a lot of multiverse going on. Damn it, Spider Man. Fair enough. Moving right along. And it's supposed to come out uh December seventeenth, which is uh you know pretty much Chris- Christmas. Right. And Ironically, I just found out earlier earlier today, the Kingsman prequel is supposed to come out December twenty second. So they're trying to go against Spider Man No Way Home, which is market market wise the dumbest fucking decision you can make. I mean, yeah, that's like my question is why y'all still trying Marvel to shit in theaters? Been winning. 
because in the middle of a pandemic. Look, in the middle a, of a pandemic. Well, people mind don't, you, people don't want to say that anyway. Well, 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 Nico, my Nico, mind you, everywhere else in the world is doing a lot better. Because you know things are yeah, because their countries actually care about them. We're not going to go too deep into that. We're not doing that. Listen, I How said what I you said. Their countries actually care of about the them. glorious Republic of Rome. God damn it! Quiet, Nico. <laughs> but no, I think it's um, I I don't agree with it. But this is the way things are. My problem is, I feel like this trailer just shitted on. The other two movies that are supposed to be coming out before it, which are Shang Chi, which comes out in like uh, I think a few weeks. No, I think next week, and Marvel's Eternals. Like, did they promote that nearly as much so as wait, they've been on. promoting Spider Man? Yes. I it's haven't just seen. That, I haven't seen an ad yet. I have, and I think one of the biggest problems is Shang Chi is such well, a as new. A Personalized. You barely watch this shit. <laughs> I think I think saying uh I think saying she's having a strong a hard uphill battle as well as Eternals because they're both IPs under Marvel that are gonna be brand spanking new. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, it's a because it, it's one of those Spider Man, old and reliable, Shang Chi. New shit, and we're like a five year old kid. We're like, mm, mm, I, don't I don't like know. the broccoli. We are know. like a five year old kid, I don't but like, like the broccoli. yeah, Man, you gotta remember the other broccoli. bangers that have been popping out, like Marvel. What if? Ooh. What if? Oh, what if just came out. We I just got done with Loki not too long speed. ago. Yeah, WandaVision. WandaVision. Yeah. Falcon and we, we talk about Marvel. Yeah. We gotta talk about Marvel, fam. Yeah, they're they, they out here. Out a lot. Heavy blows. <laughs> Yo, I got. And you know what the funniest thing is? As good as the show is, Falcon and Winter Soldier is the weakest really? of what they've been. Yeah, in the grand oh. scheme, uh, in the grand scheme of this phase we're going through, they're actually the weakest series. Wow, and that was like one of the only ones that I watched. Yeah, so I, for, for for long-term storytelling, you really need to check out WandaVision, and you really need to check out Loki. That's fair. Did Loki already finish? Yes, it, it finished. Going? Okay. It finished. So yeah, I'll watch those. I'll, yeah. I have to check those out. Because what if it started, and I think we're on episode three, but I still need to watch. What ifs are all one shots, which may or the, like they're so good. Oh my goodness! But look, Disney, Disney. I'm gonna say this right. to Marvel. How about but this? We We're we got two minutes. Let's take two more minutes to talk about Marvel, and then take the rest of the fifteen to talk about DC. All right. Okay. But but Disney, please, at the end of this what if season, please. Give us a poll. Let us choose which one gets to be made into an actual series, please. Cause god damn this shit's so good. What do you what do you want to see, Captain uh, Carter? Guys. What does he I don't that, know though. I would like to see Star Lord T'Challa. Cause so much change. But but then With them switching places. Her. So much change. P- fucking Tony has a father figure. A genuine one. Yeah, but everyone's gonna be butthurt at T'Challa Star Lord with because then Chadwick Boseman's no not gonna be the voice. Boseman. Well, I mean, yeah, but at the same you telling me there's nobody can that could do voice match, you telling me we don't have any talented voice actors that could possibly do an impersonation and or a voice match for him? Come on. I don't know. It's look it, it's one of those things where it's just because then people are like, Well, if they could replace the voice why don't they just replace the actor uh, for the live action too? Because it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm just you know. I'm just saying how the audience will. Yeah, and, and you and know how ignorance answer. works. It's not the same. Like, duh. That's the answer, but you know how ignorance works. 
It don't care what the answer is. The answer it wants is the only right answer, and it will fight to the death to prove the inter- itself. The internet's gonna be like, I claim. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm gonna do the uh, T'Challa Star Lord version, though, more than likely before he dies. Even I'm then, sure that kind of says something that was in the that kind of says it like ends up badly for him. It's so we not it's not what we thought, but like, yeah, Ego finds his son just out yeah, we all in know. nowhere, nowhere's no, realm. We in, all know. No, he wasn't out in nowhere. He was still in the same neighborhood working at the Dairy Queen that we saw in the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2. Star-Lord has zero drive, zero ambition. Everything that happened to him in our main canon is because of pure fucking luck. Look like now cuz look 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 I mean at, some people would call that destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. yeah, because look at like T'Challa was raised to be a king. He was raised like he wanted to explore the world, but Yandu was like, "How about I just show you the universe?" And well, with, technically, they never really showed us what his upbringing was like. Who Star Lord? T'Challa. Yeah, but and Wakanda. Here, but here's the thing: just by what, just by the little bits we saw. You could see that he was very big on family and giving back to people because then he developed that. He took the Ravengers, who are pretty much space pirates, and turned them into good guys. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Moving yeah. along. Moving, to moving on to. Now we're going to DC, where we're not sure what the fuck we're doing. Right, we're going to hit it. Hit 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 Welcome back. I hope All you right, guys but, grabbed a snack. It's time to talk about DC. Are they doing better? No, seriously. Are they doing better? And where the hell they're going? Now, I don't get let's, it. Let's be honest. Why is Amber Heard still a part of Aquaman 2? That's uh, this, Yeah, why? Why? Because if like, Amber Heard now. was a man it, who beat on his wife... He swiftly. She would, be, she would be swiftly removed from every project, like they did Johnny Depp when they thought that he was beating out somewhere. On flipping burgers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't I'm think sorry we- to my other husband, Jason Momoa, Lisa Bonet. You know, you are, you know, you are definitely my, one of my consorts. I love you, Jesus, but I, I cannot, I, I cannot support this film. Because of her, because they re- refuse to remove her, this film will not be getting any of my money or any of my dollars. And I do I encourage lot, anybody I, else. Who, I think a lot of people are feeling the same way. I encourage yeah. anybody else who feels the same way. Do not give these people your money because they clearly don't listen to you. And, and to since they per- don't want to listen, you hit them where it hurts. The bottom line, hit them in that purse. And to be perfectly to honest, I like Jason Momoa. We all know that. Love him. But I. But I still think that Aquaman was a shitty movie. Aqua, bro. I mean, it's not like she was that great of an actress anyway. Oh, she really wasn't. So, But, it, but overall, I think the movie was shit. We just like Jason Momoa so much. I mean, that... well, here's the thing. It's not that the movie was shit. He's just not a good actor. No. And when, you movie... put him, and when you put him in a a role where you have like pretty decent actors around him, yes, his acting will look pretty not on par with what is there no i mean yes but the movie also itself was really shitty it it tried to do like three seasons of game of thrones in a two-hour movie that's fair that's very fair yeah yeah, yep that's fair because no one no one could explain why there was a crab kaiju and sharks with freaking laser beams on their freaking heads underwater me, like, let me put this I mean, way. well, here's the thing. Like, if you talk about Atlantis and they control Atlantis, I'm pretty sure they have their own technologies and things. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Same thing as I'm Wakanda. just saying. Yeah, that's all... Here's like, my thing. It's in the comics, but at the same time, that's just like you gonna throw that at us. 
unprepared. Not, not only that, you're trying to tell me that a massive wave hit an East Coast, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and you're telling me that Superman and Wonder Woman didn't dive into the bottom of the ocean, be like, yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I mean, can they breathe underwater though? Superman technically doesn't breathe. It's a it it's it's just a human thing he thinks he needs to do. Okay. Yeah. What about Wonder Woman? I don't know. Wonder Woman, she's technically made of clay. She's not human. Huh. She's technically made of clay. Also, she's technically like immortal? A demigod. She's also immortal. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, I like to I like to play with yeah. that. The, most of the founding members of the of the Justice League are not human. To be honest with you, though, I'm still I still have this vendetta, and I don't care what nobody says. I do not believe Gal Gadot should play Wonder Woman. I'm sorry. I can concur with that. She is not a great actress. No, I'm not impressed not. at all. Like I'm bored she, when she's on screen. I'm her, sorry. Jason Momoa has more charisma. Gal Gadot just has the look. She's pretty. She's pretty. But. Let me but let me tackle the content of the films for a moment. All right. Uh, right. Overall, the DCEU films are not great. Now, the Snyder Cut of Justice League is a massive improvement. It definitely is a good film. A long fucking film, but a good film. Oh, my God. Damn, I had to watch it in our parts. I couldn't. And had to literally take breaks from that movie. It was that long. Then you had the 2016 Suicide Squad movie, which I have gladly shitted on time and time again, and it deserves every last piece of finkel matter. So wait, what did you think about the second one? Because I just watched the second one. Have anybody second else watched Second one, it? second one, who watched it with us? Our, oh, yeah. Yeah, our review, cool. our review is on the right. website. I absolutely loved it. James Gunn is an ama- amazing writer and director. Oh yeah, cause y'all motherfuckers are sitting there laughing at the goddamn weasel, and I'm just sitting there looking at you niggas <laughs> like, why is he so funny to you? Like I don't okay. understand. You look like a Kensington crackhead that got hit with the from this <laughs> Like a Kensington. You know what? <laughs> oh, you lucky. You lucky. I can't push this blow dart out because I swear I would. <laughs> He looks like a Kensington crackhead that got hit with the the Ninja Turtle ooze. Let me let me let me prepare my blow dart because you be rude. <laughs> Not only that, he ate so babies. He, he he definitely deserved it. She over here yeah, trying to hit me with love darts. This is that bullshit. I'm telling no, you. No, it's called a blow dart. Mm-hmm, whatever. A, a baby. Nico, Kensington Nico, crackhead. stop trying to blow with fur. All right, all right, all right. Y'all. Stop, stop, stop trying to put out false rumors now. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, an- another great film they did, uh, Shazam. Uh, Shazam was good. I really enjoyed that. Oh, my only gripe was the very drastic tonal shifts because it would be funny and light. The next you know, this Dark dude threw booty. his brother across the street. I'm like, yeah. yo, Dark and Booty. Honestly, I'm excited to see Megan Good and the rest of the crew, you know, like start to use their powers. And Black stuff. Adam, Black Adam has wrapped up filming, so yeah. uh, I look forward to that. Yeah, that'll be interesting. That, Although, honestly, all right, can we be honest? Mm. Not to say the Rock isn't a great actor, but he's not a great actor. I'm gonna have to disagree. I used to agree. I used to agree with that. But now I've actually seen him act. Like, I've seen him act too, but even still, like, I still see remnants of Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Like, I still see Dwayne Johnson in certain certain roles he's played. Now, not to say in every role, but not in every quite role, a few, but I'm just, I still see Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know like, what I mean? In, in, in Ballers, all I saw was Spencer Strasmore. And what and what uh movie is that? The TV show Ballers. Like he was you know not what? the rock. Yes, I'll give you I'll give you that one. Yes. Ballers, yes. Yeah. He like honestly though, but here's the thing though, that's technically still him. You know why? Because he played football before he um before he he actually went back to wrestling. He was playing yeah, in the Canadian this- League and got cut. So this is this is actually still relating to his own personal story, which is why he can play Spencer in the way he can play him. But 
he plays a financial guy who's technically bad at his job. And how I mean, he like he, honestly, like, I would I would I would imagine that's exactly who The Rock would be if he didn't go into acting like, and he still was in like and and he still was sticking with the football. Like this just looks like who The Rock would be without the WWE and without acting. And there's and there's a lot of there's actually a lot of character arts with him as well as the rest of the show. And then on the on the flip side of it, you have his NBC show. Um, Young Rock, which is a over-the-top version of himself running for president while regaling stories of his childhood, which is kind of narcissistic. Narcissistic, but it it works just enough. I mean, but he also has this other thing though called the um, what the hell is it? It's another games? show. Yeah, I think so. Look, I'm just gonna be a bit thirsty. I I don't care for none of that. He he built for it tough and he can crack my back like a growth stick. That's all I got. <laughs> I mean, listen, I take I take the cracks too. <laughs> I take the cracks too, Angie. So uh, you know. Uh, all righty. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <here> for, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Crack, crack, I ain't here, crack, here for none of the none of the acting. Ask my I'll back out, goddammit. <laughs> Hello. I'm, uh, How you doing? I'm a smile and nod on that. <laughs> what you doing? Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> oh, you, oh, you got play. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> uh, just <laughs> Meanwhile, the DC, uh, the DC shows are still running surprisingly well, except for Batwoman, which is just—it's just not good. Even after they replaced Ruby Rose, it's just not a good show. Uh, I mean, I think they really need to invest in their writing team. And honestly, I feel like they need to invest in more black writers. I feel like maybe if they had more talented black writers on their team, it wouldn't be as um, garbage, you know, Um, like maybe Shonda Rhimes, maybe Issa Rae. Like, I I doubt that they would want to do anything like that because that's not their realm. But somewhere along the lines of that creativity level, though, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because, like, Shonda had motherfuckers on like hanging on cliffhangers for 10 years actually more than 10 years with Grey's Anatomy you get what I'm saying and even with Scandal again 7 years of just cliffhanging just gotta watch like yo it's a it's a weird thing it's it's crack they have some type of like written authoric crack going on and i really feel like they need to find more black like, creators i just need one more season, <laughs> right. I, just need, I just need one more ep- like like just two more episodes y'all we get this done two more episodes i promise that's it I, that's all i need i swear that's all i need that's all i need <laughs> you know i feel like if they invest in more black artists who like black writers who write on that level who are you know who can who can write that level of engagement with the audience and 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 pull the audience in i think that's what will be beneficial since they're already pandering with the black superman you know what i mean you might as well go all the way and go ahead and well, switch your whole team up for diversity michael b jordan is developing a black superman uh program with hbo max uh i'm not sure how separate that is from the recasting of Henry Cavill, which I still think is a very stupid move. I I need them to eventually. Yo, side note: Henry Cavill is big as shit. Yeah. IRL, like yeah, big as shit. Yeah. And then on top of that, he's a big ass fucking nerd. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. I seen this picture because like he talks about this. He's talked about this in his um. And interviews and everything about his nephew and how his nephew tells, like, had told his class, like, yeah, you know, my uncle Superman, my uncle Superman. Mm-hmm. They were like, Liam, stop telling stories and blah, 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 because they didn't believe him. And, you know, he got in trouble, actually. And his, like, his mom, yeah. you know, teachers talked to his mom, was like, you know, Liam's telling stories, saying that his uncle Superman, you know, can you please tell him to refrain from, you know, telling stories in school and telling the class that his uncle Superman lies? But not. And the mom was like, well, I mean, Liam does tell stories, but this one in particular is actually true. And then she sat there and the teacher looked at her like she was crazy. 
So of course, there's this picture that's floating around on the internet. You can see yeah. him walking to his nephew's class, wearing his Superman mm-hmm. outfit. And the little boy in his face, you can say, I told you niggas. Like, just ready. Just you. ready. I just ready. You. Right. I told you. I told you that that's my uncle. Like, telling stories where? Uh, he's going to ride that high all the way to high school. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You know, all the bullies and even some of the girls are going to be like, I never doubted you for a second, but just yesterday she was doubting me. Like he lying. (laughs) He's sitting there like he lying. But Uh, you know, I would like to see DC invest in more people of color, like writers of color. I think that would be their best avenue as far as going forward. To be well, I'm not sure who the writers are, but I do know that they they all need to be fired. uh, They're agree. Through, uh, a black canary, a black canary film has been greenlit, and Journey Smollett will be returning uh, for this uh, for the role. She recently played um, Black Canary in Harley the, Quinn's movie. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you can't even call it Birds of Prey because it was yeah, a I, Harley Quinn's movie. Like, yeah. I, 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 I it was Harley Quinn's movie, like uh, Harley Quinn's so, breakup movie. So many things, so many uh, things going there. Um, there's also going to be a Batgirl series on HBO Max. Um, they haven't announced who's going to play Batgirl, but they did say that J- J.K. Simmons will return as Commissioner Gordon. Uh, for those of you who might recall, he played for him to be Commissioner Gordon. He played Commissioner Gordon in the Justice League. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Because he plays the other guy in the Daily View. I need yes, he also I, plays J. Jonah Jameson. I, I need freaking DC, at least for the anime. Or actually, for all this stuff. I need more diversifying. I need more diversity amongst their, their animated movies with their characters. And I'm not saying that they don't have... Diversity in the movies. I'm saying, amongst all the characters, I'm just I just need more of them and less of Batman. That's fair, because I mean, Batman is like the age old. Like that's the it is just so many that they go to Batman. every like it's we just got a, it's, it's we like, got flat it's like Power Rangers though. It's like Power Rangers. Well, they we got really, Justice literally League. reboot Power Rangers every time a new generation starts to come up in the ranks, like. Batman is it. Batman is the Jason David Frank of DC. Oh. No matter what, they've got to throw him in there somewhere. Wait, who's J- Jason David? That's the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the Red Ranger. He's yo, Jason David Frank's been in like seven different Power Rangers series. Wow. Yeah, like no matter what, he just they make sure up. they hire him. Like yeah. I'm so tired of it. It's so, maybe, so I mean, I, maybe that was in his first contract, though. I don't know. Everyone's first Power Ranger contract was really bad. Those guys were getting paid minimum wage. And were they uh, union, though? No, they were not. They were they not. Know. Saban was not. Saban and unions ain't. Uh, they weren't too fond of each other. Right. But I don't know. DC's all over the place. Um, I. Maybe they're getting their act together. Now, animation-wise, when it came to their animated movies, I thought those were pretty solid. Uh, they did ju- they did the Justice League War, uh, where they incorporate they kind of did a new 52 spin on everybody, which was connected to Flashpoint. With uh, their D- DC animated universe is way be- did a better job with their characters than, in my opinion. MCU. Do you know why? When it comes to comic books and just writing books in general, you have to flesh out all of that stuff. Whereas Mm -hmm. with movies, it's not to say you don't do that, but it's not nearly as thorough as you do with comic books. You know what I'm saying? Because Mm -hmm. you have to to display everything with a comic book versus having to 
create that via screenplay directions and all kinds of other things and so what they need is to maybe bring the comic book or the animated series folk over as far as story hmm. development i suggest because a merger maybe that may be better i always DC, i always, always said let that disney they, buy you no yes no conflict of interest. no yes. no 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 yes. because the one thing yes. that dc has is the fact that they can still do adult storylines where marvel cannot true I don't need like DC need. Yeah, to be but DC DC already the saying that reins the need to be loosened. So, Not DC. I mean, I mean this need for the reins to be loosened because I just need more Marvel animated things to be on the level of DC animated things. And I need yeah. DCEU shit. You're not going to get to be on the level Batman of. I need a balance because it's just that. I have that so one, much beef with that. Yo, that yo, that one board member is a whole dickhead. That's how you know. His, At the his same time, right it's understandable. He makes, no. he literally makes too much money for him. To, like, you can't be mad. Like, yes, you gonna you eat can. this pussy? I can yes, give you. you can. There, there was a billion dollars a right now a, and not eat pussy. There was literally a scene would, in the comic where Batman on, was going down. On Catwoman. On, yes. I know. And I'm the, saying. I'm just saying. He has enough money for that he, to be he been, not he be been, an option. Been, go, 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 go. Listen, listen. He Batman go, go. is not DJ Khaled. Right. And DJ Khaled still don't <laughs> even have enough money for that. Enough of him. That, that's because DJ boy. Khaled don't, don't have Batman she money. <laughs> she fucking the pool boy. Somebody eating that cat. That cat I mean, is meow. But... I just want them. To I get mean, this shit it's not. She can get it from anywhere else. Batman out here laying pipe to everybody. <laughs> I'm waiting for be community dick. Batman is out here kidnapping children. Batman is out here kidnapping children and giving out community dick. Batman, ma- whoa, whoa, Batman is making child soldiers. Making child soldiers and out here giving community dick. That hey, is hey, what hey, he's hey, doing. Hey, hey. Selena, that is uh, Barbara, was, his like technical why, goddaughter, wait, why his is son's, he, why his technical calling, son's girlfriend. All these women, wait, why is he calling all these women out by their government though? Like <laughs> exposing bitches. Like hey, funny, okay, Bruce Wayne is a fuck wait. boy. I expose boy. <laughs> Ain't none of them safe. But they all out here million dollar hoes. But uh, then he, uh, but then, <laughs> but then he got zip zop zoopity bop by uh by Talia. Yep. All types of fucked up. He's just a rich orphan who puts his hands on regular people and out here fucking other rich bitches and criminals. Still waiting on my team so members alike. Abuse. Oh, you my best friend's daughter. I'm a buck you off. <laughs> you know who I? You know who I really wish it, uh, if they continue film wise, I want them to recast uh, Lex Luthor because I just don't see Jesse Eisenberg doing it. Y'all keep saying Jesse Eisenberg. Why do I keep having in my mind Michael Sarah? Because <laughs> what they they both have that same body type. But Jesse Eisenberg has a face that you could take almost serious. Like, I literally can't, like, yo, I literally, like, have such a hard time. You know what's crazy? Hallie Eisenberg, his sister, his older sister, I believe. Um, or no, he might be older. Um, you know, her face is like, you know, everybody knows who she is. You know what I mean? Curly Sue, the Pepsi yep. commercials, every fucking Pepsi commercial in the 90s. Right. You know, um, but like him is just, <laughs> I see every time I look at him, I, I, I see Michael Sarah. I, I don't know what's wrong that's, with me. That's so messed up. I mean, I understand why. Like I said, so the genetic, genetic similarities, man. But I just, I, I think that was just a big miscasting. Uh, also, that, I mean, DC, if they just, 
Was they need a plan. Eisenberg, uh, Scott Pilgrim. No, that was Michael Sarah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg is the kid from the Zombie Land movies. <gasps> oh. There you go. I don't even remember Zombie Land. I really oh. don't. Okay. I can't forget. They're you... fucking hilarious. There's so many zombie okay. movies, zombie movies that like just came out within like a few Woody years. Harrelson, Woody Harrelson, but or had a, some no. are actually funny. Woody I know, Harrelson, but like there's just so many. Stone. Anytime but somebody says it's a zombie funny. movie from there, no, 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 Zombie Land. Yeah. Anytime I think of any zombie movie that someone says, I just like, well, for a sudden my mind goes to Warm Blood. So I'm just like, eh, Warm Blooded. Oh, what warm bodies? Right. Warm bodies, yeah, that shit. Oh, you oh. mean Romeo and Juliet? Basically, oh. the I mean the girl's the name was literally Julie, actually, and actually, his name was R. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna <laughs> say I was gonna say Twilight, but I mean that was even based on like. And we had like some type of weird thing. necrophiliac relationship going on, and I'm just like. What the fuck is going on in this movie? She started liking the zombie, my nigga. She wanted I mean, to bone the zombie. He became a human before what if anything was- happened. But she got emotionally attached to a zombie. But what well, if, you, but what if they did her. try to, like, pause. What if they did try to, like, you know. And she accepted. Was she that del bad. Can you imagine <laughs> it's like no in the middle of of, of no, activities? No. <laughs> His <laughs> <is falling off. laughs> like dick just stuck in there. <laughs> and he's in there like, ah, ah, ah. He's in there screaming the whole time. He's like, ah. Like, would he just put it back on? Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's a better question. This is the end of the podcast. I'm so <laughs> glad we never even talked about the show Eye Zombie. Thank goodness. Oh, I gotta watch that. <laughs> oh, that was actually funny. I'm not gonna lie. I love that series. I gotta yeah, watch I, series again. It went over a lot of people's heads, but I fuck with it. But um, I'm Marvel. Marvel and DC. The saga continues. Uh, pretty sure we're going to be tapping on this again at some point in time. Uh, <laughs> we want to thank you guys for listening in to our debauchery. <laughs> yep, the ridiculousness. I'm DC, sorry, you, you got to start like making some more punches. Like, you're doing good. you stay staying tough in the fight. I'm going to need you to start throwing some more hard hits. I'm going to need you to adjust your form. You need to learn to make combat because Marvel out here hitting you with some stiff ones. <laughs> no. What DC, what DC, what DC needs to do, their stiff uh, executive branch that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing needs to step back and go fuck themselves and let these guys make their movies. James, like James Gunn, was given a finite budget and complete creative control, and he put out fucking gold. I mean, well, clearly the formula is there. So all you gotta do is follow. If you, the if you let these Snip. competent guys do what they do, you gonna get something great. But the they fact. also, I'm sorry, they also need a leader, a overall leader of it all. Because let's be, Kevin Feige, he, he's a great master planner. But I feel like there's a butt coming. No, nah, I'm a no. When it what. When it came to when it came to building a master plan, he did a great job. Okay. Period. Okay. I think I think the only hiccup they ever had was when they let the internet dictate what to do with James Gunn and they fired him and then ended up having to rehire him. Well, what did he do? Um a a, a person who's a, a a conservative troll purposely bought up really old tweets from uh, his Twitter and it was about how he made a he made a to catch a predator themed party party 
Yeah, he had a party, and the theme was to catch a predator. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, "Oh, he thinks pedophiles. Uh, he thinks he thinks pedophilia is cool. He thinks it's a joke." He's like, "No, he thinks to catch a predator is hilarious." <laughs> and to be honest, it is. See, I don't call you Chris Handsome. I call you. Chris <laughs> Handsome. Listen, well, I like you, and I want you. We ain't talking but about that one. Easy but, way. Oh, we could do this the hard way. But so we talk about the fucking. He made he like James Gunn made a series of he had, he he had that party. He made some he made some dark humor jokes. They were not as extreme as they as people let not as them crazy. To be. Yeah, they they were they were like oh you asshole. But 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 you know you, you laugh it off. But they they did they presented it in such a way that Disney was like well he's fired. And then after the and then afterwards, everyone's like, "Wait, like when the whole cast when the whole cast of Guardians of the Galaxy was like, this is what y'all fired him for? Yeah, if y'all don't bring him back, I'm not working. Because <laughs> it's like because it's, it, it's one of those things just like, yeah, we're not bring James back. Yeah, because and and the guys at DC." They were so quick. They were like, they they fired James Gunn. Yo, call that nigga. Right. <laughs> hey James. Ow. Like, hey James. Ow. Uh, you want to do some movies? Hey, can I do a can I do a movie where Superman's evil? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's how we got Brightburn. Ah, okay. That was his movie. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that, but I definitely need to check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine though the uh, the Shit. fuckery that will unfold there. Yeah, that was actually one that I really wanted to see. And then and then he did Suicide Squad, and pretty much David Ayer, who just can't do fantasy, he just can't do sci-fi fantasy. David Ayer, they 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 cut his. They say he they edited the, uh, the hell out of it, which I believe. But at the same time, it still looks like it was going to be shit. They tried to turn it into a James Gunn movie, and it looked like shit. So instead, now you have James Gunn actually doing the Suicide Squad movie, and it turned out great. The second one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So the, first, the, first one. the first one, they tried to make it Guardians of the Galaxy without James Gunn, and and that didn't really work out. That's it. There's so many different layers on why that movie failed. So many. That might be. There's a. I might do a video at another time. But we're done for the day. We love you guys. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, you so guys much for, for listening. listening. We appreciate you. Definitely shop Serpentine Fire. That's www.serpentinefire.co. Definitely <laughs> look us up on the Google Play Store or the App Store. We have an app, Serpentine Fire. Download it today. And, uh, you know, where you can find me, all my socials is posted right here in my uh, in my little name tag or whatever at queennick.art and uh, you can go to www.queennick.art to uh, book me for stuff. Take care. Stay classy, Philadelphia. Engine. Uh, Sup and goodbye all you heathenistic fuckers. It was a wonderful time hanging out with y'all and hanging out with them talking about you know my high fillers on Marvel is everything. And you know, DC is great. They just need to stick the branches, aka the. Right now. <laughs> they it's because DC got their own foot on their neck. There's fucking these strict executive uh, orders over there and whatnot. But like, I just want to see the best of both worlds and combine. Plus, I just want like, I want an amalgam uni- Like, I want the amalgam universe to be literally the best of both worlds Mm -hmm. on on the fucking movie front and on the animated movie front on the shows and everything i just need that i will know peace when that comes to i want create i want creators to be able to create so i my heart goes my heart goes out to dc i want them to be able to try uh do what they can with what they're given and without oversight and invest in your black your poc writers please your talented poc writers because we don't need a poc who can't fucking write like that's just dumb yeah actually invest in people who have 
talent. POCs preferably because you know why? We usually come up with some of the greatest fucking ideas. Yeah, I don't want to hear about them hiring uh, Tyler Perry to write Static Shock. Like I said, Ooh. Talented, Ooh. like I said, talented. <laughs> if, yo, if say, I hear about, about some shit in this like that, don't bring that bullshit. Um, no, if I hear about some shit like or, that, the executives are going to or, have to or, personally or run me like, to write, fucking shit. Like, 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 wait, hello, or Kenya Barris. I, I tell you what, I, I don't need no static cling flying around my place with no death trash can no, lid. Static wouldn't have a dad. Remember, he'd be evil. Oh. Because all the dark characters are always evil. You know. <laughs> or, <laughs> or or if it's uh if it's Kenya Barris, you know, it'll just be like black people trying too hard the whole time the whole movie. Oh, the man. whole series. Well, on that note, I'm Salty Live 215. Uh that that's my Twitch handle. Please be sure to follow Amerime Media on Instagram, YouTube, and of course Facebook. Uh, if you're listening to us, thank you for checking out the podcast. Thank you for downloading. Make sure you leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And on YouTube, the comment section is below. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And hit, hit it, that Liddy, y'all. And we will hit talk to you guys Liddy. next time. Don't Indeed. forget to like follow cool. us individually. Give us love and support. I need Indeed. an army to amass. Yes, and I will be posting exclusive sexy content on my Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash queennickart. So that's queen. That's slash. Yep. Patreon.com slash queen. Q-U-E-E-N-N-I-K. This is what I got to compete with. Now I definitely got to go get my VR headset so I can do VR thought shit and VR chat. I mean, I would love to do VR thought shit, so maybe I need to get a VR. Yes, we can do that shit together! Ah. <laughs> see, see, you know, we wildin', we wildin'. All right, y'all. Thanks. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Be well. Love, love yourselves and each other. Take care. Bye. Bye.